Welcome to CTV News Trendline with Michael Stittle and Nick Nanos. For the Conservatives, what's good is to have a number like 41, which is an amazing number. Any party would kill for that. Mm -hmm. The bad news is, is the reality is, is the Conservatives can only go down. And uh, the other thing that's really important is that when we're in between elections, when someone says that they're voting for any party, there are no repercussions. So if you're disappointed, disaffected, whatever, with uh, Justin Trudeau and the Liberals, you can say conservative, but there's no repercussion for that. And I think, you know, so for the conservatives, I do believe that they have a lead. It's mm -hmm. probably a significant lead. I don't think it's a 19 point lead. The other thing is it's not going to be sustainable. And what the conservatives have to worry about is that when the trend starts to adjust itself, when the market, it's like a market correction, when it starts to adjust itself, um, you know, will that project onto Pierre Poiliev if he has a misstep or, or says something that people don't like and people start to project that, you know, the conservatives, you know, were benefiting from a positive trend. Now it's a negative trend for them. So I, uh, are you suggesting then that, that this trend might have more to do with uh, voter fatigue with the liberals rather yeah. than, than, you know, um, uh, a real interest, let's say, in, in the conservative party? I think it's, you know, people are opting for the choice that is not conservative. And you have to realize, you know, even for the New Democrats, right? Mm. Like the New Democrats have a parliamentary alliance. So voting for the NDP is kind of indirectly supporting the liberals, at least from a parliamentary perspective. So... The conservatives, you know, the conservatives, the bloc, the Green Party and the People's Party are really the only options for people that are disaffected uh, with with the liberals right now. But, you know, for the conservatives, I think this is more about a rejection of the liberals and uh, dissatisfaction with the liberals than uh, a huggable, warm political embrace of Pierre Poiliev himself, but also of the uh, of the conservative party. But you know what? Riding that wave of discontent wins elections. Mm. So you shouldn't, uh, we, we shouldn't discount that.